Hello, in this lecture we will be taking a look at an assignment that will be very similar to the homework. The numbers will change, the format will remain much the same. Remember there's two objectives that you're thinking about as we work through these problems. One is to learn the accounting principles covered and two is to learn the formatting of the Excel worksheet. Remember that about 95% of what you will be doing day to day if you are working in Excel or whenever you are working in Excel, you'll learn here in the accounting class. This is where you learn that information. That you will have an accounting, an Excel class. What you want to pick up in the Excel class are the tips and tricks that can make your worksheets more presentable, such as changing the colors and formatting in different ways. But 95% the, the put it in numbers, put it in the data, uh, formatting just in terms of different types of numbers and thinking about how to see things in terms of a table and a format of data. That's what you learn in the Excel, uh, in the accounting classes here. So, Let's take a look at what we have. Let's take a look at our worksheet. We have our accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. We've got the accounts that are in those subcat those categories, assets being cash, receivables, and supplies, liabilities being accounts payable, equity being capital, and the income statement, revenue, and expenses. We also have total assets equal total liabilities. These accounts will be formatted for you, and net income being revenue minus expenses that we'll also calculate for you. We will just be entering the numbers here, the beginning balances are already there, so we're not going to start with this first line. We're going to say that we are currently have a cash of 50 and equity of 50. We are in balance. We're going to start on A. So we have this balance. We're going to put in the transaction A, and then we're going to calculate that down here. We're concentrating this time on the accounts payable cycle. So first one says purchase supplies on account. So uh, first of all, is cash affected? And the question and the answer is no, we purchased it on account in this case. Once again, we got to learn the terminology in real life. We would know we purchased it with a credit card or something like that. So obviously we would know that. But any type of word problem, part half the problem is interpreting what the words are telling us, visual, visualizing the scenario. We didn't pay cash this time. We paid with something else. So that something else will be a liability. The liability will be accounts payable. So we know accounts payable is affected. It might be easier to think about, though, uh, what we received in this case. So I would always ask, is cash effective? If it's not, then maybe it's easier to think about an asset because, or, or an expense or what we received. In this case, we received supplies. And if we look at our accounts here, we can see that supplies is here. It's an asset. And we know that the asset went up. We got more supplies. So we could start there if we wanted to. And we could say that this is 450 and the reason also when we get to debits and credits, it might be easier. We will probably learn debits and credits in terms of cash first. That's why it might be easier for us to think about uh, when we get to that section, the supplies first. But uh, we also know that the other side is not a decrease to cash in this case because we didn't pay cash. The other account that's affected will, of course, be the accounts payable. That's what we're focusing on here. So if this side of the equal sign went up, this side also must go up. The accounts payable, the bad thing is going up in this case. So we're going to put 450 there and that will put us back in balance over here. And then we can, there's no effect on net income in this case because supplies is an asset. And why isn't it an asset and not an expense? Because we're saying that we have not yet used the supplies. We bought the supplies and as we consume the supplies, so supplies and use them, we will then expense them as that happens. So, and that's going to be our precursor basically to inventory. I'm going to go ahead and put zeros in the rest of the cell. So I'm in cell C4 right here. I'm going to say zero, tab, tab. Remember to use the tab. There's two, two keys under the, uh, the escape key, tab, or zero, tab, 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 zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, tab, zero. It really is faster generally for the most part than a mouse. Now we have the beginning balance. We have the activity, and then we're going to sum that up in the ending balance. So this will be 50 plus zero is 50, zero plus zero is zero, zero plus 450 is 450, and we are going to do that with formulas. So once again, I'm going to try to do a formula, and I'm going to try to use the mouse less and less. So I'm going to say equals, I'm going to use the up arrow two times, and go to C3 and say plus, and then go to the up arrow one time, and then I'm going to hit tab instead of enter, so we go to the right and once again, we're going to say equals up two to E3 plus up one to E4, tab, tab. Equals up two to G3 plus up one to G4, tab, tab. Equals up two to I3 plus up one to I4, tab, tab. Equals up two to K3 plus up one to K4, tab, tab. Equals up two to M3 plus up one to M4, tab, tab. 
equals up 2 to O3 plus up 1 to O4 tab tab and equals up 2 to Q3 plus up 1 to Q4 and enter. And that'll bring us back down to the next cell. Remember that all we're concerned with at this point is this column and then uh, the new transaction here and then the ending balance. We are in balance indicated by the 50 and the 50 being a green at this time. We're going to start with something in balance. We're going to post the transaction in B and then add those up and ending with something that will be in balance, hopefully. So B transaction paid for supplies purchased in the past on account. So now we're paying. So is cash affected? Yeah, we paid something. The assumption is, of course, we paid with cash. So in C6. We're going to put a negative representing the fact that cash will be going down negative four five zero and enter and that will format the cell with brackets of course we entered a negative not brackets then what's the other account that is affected you might be thinking supplies but we paid for supplies up here we paid i mean we purchased the supplies up here we got the supplies in the past now we're paying the bill for the supplies that we purchased which is the liability so the liability is what we're focusing on here it went up by 450 because we bought something on account. We bought something and we said we'd pay you Tuesday. Tuesday's here. We're paying it. Now we're going to subtract. If this side of the account goes down, this side goes down negative 450. Now we're back in balance in this transaction and we can enter the rest of the zero. So I'm in E6. We're going to say zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, 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 zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, tab, zero, tab, tab, zero, and enter. Brings us back down. Then we're going to sum this up. So we have our beginning balance here plus the transaction gives us our ending balance. If we were to do that in a calculator, we would pull out the calculator like so and say it would be 50,000. In this case, minus 450 to bring to bring us to uh, 49,550. But we're going to do that, of course, with a formula. So we're going to do our standard formula in cell C7 equals up to minus or plus up one. And again, it's plus a negative number and that'll say uh, 49,550. If it went the other way, we would just say it, that uh, the sign might be off. So just note that it went down. Therefore, we think that we got our sign right. It is a plus and not a negative in this case. Going to hit tab, tab equals up two plus up one and tab, tab equals up two plus up one and column G tab, tab and column I equals up two plus up one. What's it going to be after we hit tab? zero because 450 minus 450 brings it back down to zero that's what we expect to happen in accounts payable we buy something on account the liability goes up then we pay it it goes back down that's what happens basically on our credit card at some point in time hopefully <laughs> that we buy something and then we pay it eventually and it goes the, ba the balance goes back down so equals up two plus up one tab tab the 50 pulls down uh, and that equals up two plus up one tab tab equals up to plus up one tab tab and equals up to plus up one and enter so we can now see if we add up our assets they add up to fifty thousand fifty thousand here if we add up our liabilities and all the equity it adds up to fifty thousand fifty thousand here no effect on net income as of yet we are now at the beginning balance here then we're going to record the transaction c taking us to our ending balance after we add those two up so in transaction C, we have auto purchased, uh, purchased auto service on account. So once again, is cash affected? No, in this case, because we purchased it on account. So the term on account in this case means we kind of, it's kind of like we purchased it on a credit card, meaning instead of paying for it with cash, we paid it with an IOU. We'll pay you in the future. We'll pay you Tuesday for the service today. So in column I, we have the liability. Now again, it might be easier to think about what we got later on. So because it's a liability, I, I'm going to try to think about what we got. In this case, we got auto service, and that's not an asset. That's not a liability. That's actually an expense because it's what we consumed in order to generate revenue in the same time period. So auto expenses over here, expenses only go one way. They, they are bringing equity down in this case. So expenses are going to come out of equity, bringing the owner's equity down. So in cell 08, we could put a negative. 320 and then the other side of it would be of course we already determined the liability we didn't pay for it with cash we paid for it with a liability if this side of the equal sign goes down by the expense 
it's also going to have to go back up because this time we're on the same type of the side of the equal sign. So if we 